What's good? It's your boy GK back at it again with another video. Today, I gotta touch on this big topic right now. It's popping right now. Everybody's talking about it working at home and today i'm gonna tell you how to work from home on a budget let's jump into it let's go so the illness is hit people are being infected and companies are sending people to work at home how are you going to work at home right you're like yo i got nothing at the crib or maybe you got a couple things but you still need a couple things more I'm gonna tell you some basic things today that you need in order to work from home on a budget because all on this channel, all I talk about is personal finance, helping you with your money goals, watching me through my debt-free journey. And today, if I'm helping you through your debt-free journey, I need to show you how to work from home on a budget. Let's go. First thing you're gonna need, laptop, right? So right here is my Mac, right? This isn't the laptop that I use for work. I'm gonna show you the laptop that I use for work right now. It's right here, laptop that I use from work. It was supplied from work, but if your job requires you to work from home and they don't provide you with a laptop in order to work from home or some type of desktop that you can work from home in, you gotta get yourself some type of computer, right? And obviously this is all gonna depend on the type of work that you do. And today I'm talking about that normal office work, right? That day-to-day -day office grind, okay? So can't recommend the Lenovo ThinkPads more than enough, right? more than enough they're very customizable you can order what you need and if you really need to know what you need talk to your it guys ask them exactly what requirements your laptop needs right or desktops desktops can be a little bit cheaper but if you got to get on the go you can't take your desktop with you can you imagine yourself walking around with this big old tower you'd be like you excuse me and then you gotta set it down hook up and everything to it and then try to work wherever you're going you're not doing that at the coffee shop and you shouldn't be out at the coffee shop anyway right now during this time. So laptop is definitely a big thing. So you can work from upstairs, got to go downstairs and work in the kitchen or something like that. You can do that. Work at the kitchen table. Do your work, right? Big thing. You need a computer. That's number one. Now, number two, big key thing here, right, is what you're going to need. Either sometimes you can work with your laptop and sometimes you like to work off that keyboard of the laptop. But a big thing I like to use is I like to use a separate keyboard, right? And for some reason, I like using this keyboard right here. This is a Logitech. I'm going to put it down in the description section below. Yo, this keyboard is just so clean. And if you need to take it somewhere, it's thin. Look at that. This thing is super slim, tight, enough feedback. It's not like a mechanical keyboard and it's pretty cheap too. So get yourself a keyboard. It makes life so much easier rather than working off of the laptop, right? You just sit it back type of way, right? And that stuff is the biggest thing, right? It's huge. You literally need some type of desk to work off of, right? Now, the desk is what's gonna help you to put your laptop on when you're working somewhere. Whether it's in your home office or you set up a little mini office in your bedroom or living room or something of that nature, you need a desk in order to put your laptop on it and these other accessories on there, right? That's just simple. Try to save your money when buying a desk. You can either buy used, you can buy from Craigslist, you can buy from Let Go, one of those apps out there, or look at Walmart. Staples sometimes does really good sales. If you're paying attention to Staples, they like to do some good sales there, and uh, you can probably snag a good deal if you're paying attention enough. Next up here, monitor. So your Broy rocks with two monitors here. I got this one over here, and then I have this one over here, right? Now you don't wanna go crazy with the monitors here, right? Nine times out of 10, if you're doing normal office work, they're rocking you with a 1080p screen, right? Sometimes if you're not even lucky, they're hitting you with that 720p screen. This is a very low resolution screen, so you don't have to spend crazy amount of money on the screen when you get one. This one right here to my right, the one you always see in the background of the videos was actually gifted to me from my brother and it's got speakers built into it, right? But I don't even use that one for work. I love it. It's really nice when you need to work on spreadsheets. You can stretch it out across the whole screen. It's amazing. This one on the other hand is the one that I typically use for work. This one I like to use when I'm making videos, editing videos, things like that for you guys. It's just a nice setup. This one over here, it's a lower quality, but it gets the job done. This one on the right is 27 inches. I love a 27 inch screen when you're working on some work. This one over here is 24 inches. This screen is a decent size and it gets the job done, right? If you need to get here and work from home, instead of working at work, a 24 inch screen is more than enough. Sometimes, sometimes, if you're really lucky, you can hook it up 
do a screen, get your workflow going, vibing, getting work done. You got stuff over here, you got stuff over there. And some people even have these big 49 inch widescreen monitors and they got multiple windows up and they're getting multiple things done with that productivity. But if you're looking for something on a budget, which is what we're talking about today, try and get yourself a 24 inch screen. It just gets the job done. Look for 1080p. You shouldn't spend more than 200, $300 on this screen. Next up, what you need, you need a mouse. This is gonna help you. This mouse is so much better than using the trackpad here, right? So this is a MacBook, the trackpads on here are amazing, right? Sometimes I find myself not even touching a mouse, working off the trackpad. This is the one that I use for work. This one here is the Logitech M310. This one is like maybe 20 bucks, right? Super cheap, not even. It gets the job done. It makes it easier. It's way better than using a trackpad, especially on that Lenovo. Just gets the job done. That's what you need. You definitely need a mouse. Cannot recommend that enough. Now, I know we're talking budget here, but if you a big spinner and you're trying to holler at it, yo, right here, I got this Logitech MX Master mouse. This thing is sweet, man. This thing gets it all done. I got buttons set up over here. I can, I can press a button here. I can scroll here, left to right, right? And when I work on a lot of Excel spreadsheets, it helps out a ton because I can scroll horizontally and I can scroll vertically, right? So your boy can get so much work done so much quicker. And if I'm working on the internet, it's got buttons right here. So I can go forward or backwards right from those buttons, not having to move off the screen. This is for the big ballers. You don't really need this. You just need a basic mouse. Work, rock that, $20. And if you think that you wanna upgrade later on, holla at one of these. And then last but not least, right you need the accessories right the things that go around it to make it a full picture right you need an hdmi cord right the hdmi display port look at the back of your monitor and it'll tell you exactly what you need and then look at what your computer can plug into so that'll let you know if you need any type of adapters so an hdmi will plug into an hdmi on there and then you can be good to go right it just gets the job done, it works right. It's the standard, right? And then now things are starting to move over to display port. So maybe you need an adapter, find out what accessories you need. If you go into the store, ask them exactly what you need or if you're ordering online, it'll tell you what kind of ports it has on the back and then look at the port on your computer. The port on your computer will tell you what you need to plug into the computer and then the port on the back of the monitor will tell you what you need to plug into the back of the monitor. One more accessory here. Yo, these things, this thing, this little, floppy thing right here and this thing right here this is a mouse pad some people don't like mouse pads i love a mouse pad especially when you have uh, a mouse that is not super expensive it can read off a mouse pad a lot easier than it can try to read off of a desk or something of that nature and then this right here is just for your arms it's like a wrist rest it keeps that carpal tunnel feeling down right you ever be typing so much and you're typing straight so it, it starts to mess with your wrist, but now it's sitting against something soft and it's, it takes that pressure off. This is what you need, especially if you're getting that wrist pain sometimes when you're, when you're typing, it definitely helps. I can't, I can't recommend these two things enough. Both of these are a set, they're made by Kensington. Don't spend crazy money when you go and buy these things. These are just some essential things that you would definitely wanna have if you're working from home in order to be the most comfortable that you can be while you're working from home. This has been your boy G-Kid. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down below. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I hope this helped you out in this video. When you hit that subscribe button, it helps me out. Let's me know that you're liking the content that I'm putting out. So make sure to holler at your boy. And make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of monitor, mouse, you know, keyboard you like to use. It's your boy G-Kid and we out with another video. Peace.